Hey cutie patooties and welcome back to cutie nails. God bless each and every one of you. Jumping right in today, I have a PR sponsored by Rosalind. They sent me their clear acrylic to try it. No lamp needed, cutie patooties. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read over the directions really quick and then we're gonna get into building a nail. Now I know y'all see that practice finger up there on the top left corner, but we're not gonna be using that. I totally messed that one up, so I will be doing a fresh nail for you guys today. So let's open up this box. Okay, right away I was surprised at how big the container was. I'm just going to go ahead and look over the little card really quick that comes with it. The basic instructions on how to prep the nail, how to apply the acrylic, how to remove all of that good stuff is on here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss that to the side because I already have in mind what I'm gonna be doing today. Like I said, I was surprised at the size of the jar because I was like, okay, this is what, 1.7 ounces? And I'm gonna bust out my Mia Secret one ounce jar and I'm just like, Mm. the math thing, math thing, y'all <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up because I was really taken aback at the size like this seems more like two ounces to me but hey it is what it is I'm grateful for this so I'm very pleased with this clay acrylic the consistency is very finely milled it's super, super, super nice. I really like it. It's very easy and manageable to work with, but I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch and show you guys what I'm talking about. So I did shake up this um, container before opening this box pretty well, and I tend to do that with all of my acrylics before using them. Y'all already know I'm using the Koopa Odorless Monomer. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my time and let that polymerize just a tad bit on my brush before I go ahead and swatch it out for you guys and like y'all know odorless monomer takes longer to evaporate so that's why it's taking just a bit longer to polymerize on the brush but you guys can see that it's happening right now so now that that has glossed over really nicely it swatches out very clean onto this um, lint free white and I like that and it looks pretty good so far it's not looking like there's any types of debris in there that shouldn't be there. So I was too busy minding my business and not showing y'all my business and had to move my hand into frame. That is why I'm already at this process. So like I said, brand new practice finger. I'm redoing this for you guys because my first application was way too Thick. I'm trying to practice creating the French smile lines or reverse smile line however you want to call it so I'm trying to practice doing that and my first attempt was entirely too thick now I am not gonna go ahead and file this um, smile line area here I'm not gonna do that I'm trying to be as clean as possible when I'm laying this acrylic and I really love the fact that the odorless monomer gives me the amount of time that I need to mold and shape this properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my last bead, get it tucked in nice and tight into the cuticle area and I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to blend that out to the rest of the smile line. Now I left everything in real time here for you guys, real time application so you guys can see how slow I go, how I take my time to mold and shape this acrylic to how I want it to look. I could have gone in just a little bit more around the cuticle and kind of cleaned that up and made it as flush as possible. 
but I didn't. And like I said, I'm not gonna go ahead and file this because I wanna use these little um, unicorn chrome glitters that I picked up from Born Pretty. Of course, it was spilled all over the box, but it's all good. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of alcohol and wipe that off. And we're gonna try to figure out which one I wanna use because they were all absolutely beautiful. They're duo sided, so pretty much the same color is on both sides of the box. And I wanted something a little bit on the blue side, so I'm gonna go with this one right here. Um, I didn't want it too deep of a blue because I did wanna see how clear this clear acrylic was gonna be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of monomer to the nail, and then I'm gonna dip my brush into that glitter and add pieces all throughout the free edge of this nail. This glitter was so beautiful, cuties. I'm really contemplating removing the set that I have on and doing something with these. Another spring set, they're absolutely beautiful. I love the, the shift in this color. You know, it gives you the green, it gives you a little purple. It gives just a tiny bit of yellow, but not too much. And obviously that beautiful blue that you see in there. So now that I have everything all laid out really nice, it is time to test out this clear acrylic on the nail to see how everything looks. So I'm gonna go ahead, just clean off my brush really quickly, and now I'm gonna start filling in that free edge area. You guys can see I got a really good, nice height on that um, smile line. So it's time to just fill in the rest of the nail with clear. So again, dipping into this acrylic, it was very, very nice. You guys can see how beautifully it polymerizes on my brush. And of course, I dropped that bead, but I didn't want to waste this. So I went ahead and scooped that thing right on up and placed it on the nail. Now, the working time on this is just really, really awesome. It does not um, set too fast. I know I'm using an odorless monomer, but it does not set super fast at all it's like medium setting so I'm able to play with this and move it around like I was moving around poly gel and still be able to get this down to the free edge of the nail and you guys can see like I said this is in real time I'm taking my time and I'm really not having to rush because it is not setting super fast I'm just letting gravity do what it needs to do and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it down the rest of the nail whenever I get ready to and I did not have to rush or chase it at all. At this moment here, it was when I was absolutely shocked with how well this clear acrylic was working. Like, I did not have to rush at all. It was not setting super fast. So I would say it's more on a medium setting, medium to slow setting. Um, <sighs> what do I want to say medium to slow setting period is what I really need to say <laughs> like why was I trying to add anything else to that but I'm just taking my time and getting it down the whole way of the nail because I don't want the tip of this to be too thin again cuties I am trying to practice as I would work so that way when I am working it it just happens naturally and I'm making sure that the thickness and everything that I need in the structure of the nail is there so I was super super surprised and pleased with this acrylic you guys I have never tried Rosalind's acrylic but I do like this clear it came out pretty clear to me um, I know there 
it's not going to be ever as clear as build a gel like that's the clearest thing to me but i did not have any bubbles or anything like that in this there was no gritty feeling to it it polymerized very beautifully i've learned a thing or two about the yellowing of clear acrylics and the reasons why yellowing would happen um, so I do have to say that one of the reasons yellowing happens is using old monomer or mixing old with new monomer. So you've already had monomer in your dish and then you just go, you've, it's been sitting there, let's say like a day or, or overnight or whatever. And then you go add more monomer to it to do a set. It's likely going to cause yellowing. So I made sure that I was using fresh, clean monomer for this. And I must say, I did not see any yellowing or anything like that. The bead that I swatched is still sitting on my desk. It's been sitting there all day and it did not yellow. So I, I, I think this is gonna be a good choice here for me if I'm gonna get more clear acrylic in the future. So I would hope that you guys would consider using their clear acrylic because I mean, it's so far so good for me. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue to go ahead. It, it doesn't feel gritty at all and that's one thing I like. Um, other acrylics I've tried, the grittiness is what always kind of like creeps me out a bit. You know, some textures, some people like textures is a big thing for them. The grittiness kind of like throws me off and kind of makes me feel icky. And I did not feel any grittiness with this at all. And it was very easy to apply. It was easy to mold. It was just really, really, really good. And I enjoyed it. So I'm going to file shape and buff off camera. And then we're going to get into some top coating so you guys can see the finished look. So now that everything is buffed over and nice and smooth, and I know I should not be touching this nail, but I'm gonna go ahead and add my Lissette Gel Nail Shiny Top Coat to it. I wanted to add some base coat at first, but I figured it was just the practice finger. So let me just add the Shiny Top Coat, cure it, and get to showing you guys what this looks like and the clarity of the clear acrylic at the end. For the sake of its aesthetics, you guys, and wanting to make this nail look pretty, this looks really good. And I really feel like if I did not add those little glitter pieces, this would have been a pretty decent clear nail. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below if you've ever tried Rosalind's acrylics before if you've tried their clear or any of their colored acrylics i talked the entire time in this video but now it's time for me to go cuties i love you all god loves you all and remember i'll most definitely talk to you in my next one bye